Hi everyone, this is Gel Art, and in this video I'm doing another digital speed paint, and this time it's of like a winter scene kind of thing. Um, it's like in the forest, and a girl is like swinging on a tree branch, and all the branches are covered in, in snow, and there's a sunrise in the distance, and her body shape kind of frames the sunrise. In the background I kind of made it that way so she's kind of blocking the sun but the sun is shining just behind her and it's not quite uh, risen yet and I actually based all the colors and some of the composition off of some photos I took last year uh, when I went to see the sunrise in the winter for Easter I took some photos of it and I just brought those into Sai, um, Paint Tool Sai, the program I'm using and I used some of the colors as inspiration for the background and some of the composition, but you'll see that when I get into the actual color part of it. Right now I'm just doing the sketching. And I feel like sometimes when I'm doing digital art or any artwork, sometimes it comes really naturally and the whole experience is just really enjoyable and I'm not frustrated at all. This hardly ever happens, but sometimes it happens and this was one of those times. But other times I just am constantly fighting with it the whole time, um, especially with the pose and the initial planning and everything. Usually once I get to the coloring, everything kind of works itself out. But in this one, it just kind of came to me naturally. Like, I was going to do some pose of someone just like standing by a tree, but I was like, no, I want to do something dynamic and something more interesting and something with a lot more movement than most of my artwork. And so I did this. And now you see I'm kind of basing it off of these two photos I took. They're very blurry because I took them with my cell phone and my cell phone camera is really bad. <laughs> so I just brought them into Paint Tool Sci and I, I dropped some of the colors because I knew if I wanted to do a sunrise, I need some kind of reference because I don't know what the colors are. Like, of course, snow is white, but when the sun is rising, what color does it really look like? It's very much blue. Um... Snow does have, like, every time there's shadow on snow, it looks blue. It just has, like, this bluish undertone to it. Especially when there's hardly any light, all the snow looks blue. And all the trees, like, are darker than you'd expect them to be and more blue than you'd expect them to be, even though trees are brown. So that's why I needed reference photos, because otherwise the colors would have been very, very off. And it wouldn't have pulled together as nicely as it does. Like, I tried to make the composition kind of pull everything together. I don't know how well I succeeded because I've been staring at it for so long. And I, like, I haven't been able to see it with a fresh set of eyes yet. Like, I kind of have because I did finish it a week ago. But, yeah, I'm sort of, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm just not so sure about some of the anatomy of her arms and everything and the way she's holding the branch. I don't know. But it looks okay to me. It doesn't look perfect, but... I did have fun and I like the way it looks. I'm like pretty pleased, like more pleased than usual with how this turned out than I usually am with my drawings. Because usually I don't, I don't know, it's like 50-50, I either really like it or I don't like looking at it at all. <laughs> usually sketches are just nicer, but as soon as I try to finish something, um, it's either I either really like it or it's just super mediocre. And if I don't like it at all, you probably have never seen any of those because I don't post them. I only post the things I'm pretty okay with and that I'm kind of, you know, like 6 out of 10 with, if that makes sense. But yeah, I really like drawing trees and you just kind of have to get into a rhythm of like doing the tree branches. It does help to look at reference photos just to see like how they twist and turn, but a lot of it is instinct, just like going with the flow of your wrist kind of and like making the squiggles all like balance each other, like the different uh, turns of the tree branches. And I really, really wanted to do like a distinct foreground, midground, background. So I had some branches in the foreground and I blurred them in Photoshop and she's in the midground and she's framed by the background in the foreground. And the background is, of course, all the trees that are very lightly colored because things in the background are lighter than things in the foreground. And the background is also the sunrise in the distance. It's like a pinkish hue to it. And I ended up changing, this happens a lot when I'm drawing, I'll have the atmosphere already planned out and it's looking a certain way. And I'm like, I wanna try something. So then I like 
I, I uh, paint bucket of color, like I filled a whole layer with like green or something. Yeah, right here or yellow, and then I put on overlay, and I was like, whoa, I like that so much better. So then I left it, and I had a lot of problems with my file getting too big to actually work on it, like, too big, so I had to scale it down, which is kind of disappointing, but my computer can only handle so much, and if I can't edit it anymore, what's the point of, like, having it that large resolution if I can't even work on it? So I had to make it smaller, and it took a lot of, like, it was too... It was taking up too much memory, um, like so much memory that when I tried to make it smaller, there wasn't enough memory to make it smaller. By memory, I mean like, um, like what is it, RAM? I'm not sure. Like how much can be used at one point? Not like, not like hard drive space. Like the other, I don't know. I'm not don't know these terms very well. But uh, uh, Paint Osai always tells you how much memory it's currently using up, and it was like. It was like in the 70s or 80s, which is not good, and then everything starts to get laggy, so I made it smaller. Uh, I had to make it smaller in increments because there wasn't enough memory to make it smaller all at once, but yeah, I kind of rambled on about that, but yes. So I really like how the colors turned out. That's one of the biggest things of this drawing that I like are the colors and just the warm color versus the cool colors like the orange and blue. Orange and blue are my favorite complementary colors. I used to like yellow and purple but I just like orange and blue now because it's a lot more natural and you see it every day in the sky like every day the sky is blue and the sun like when it sets and when it's when it rises it's orange. Um, sometimes it's yellow and purple like they're kind of similar in the sky but I really like orange and blue I just think they're so pretty together. So you can see it kind of looks empty near the bottom, and that's why I added the foreground objects, because um, I made the foreground lower, the midground higher, and then the background goes all the way across the whole drawing. Now I, I was focusing on the composition heavily in this piece. I really wanted the composition to work out well, and I think the curve of her like, of her limbs and her body kind of help you to like, to like it like lead your eyes across. The painting and she's like encircling um, the sun and you can't quite see the sun but you know it's there because of the light source and I love painting with like backlit light sources it's something I've always enjoyed like even early on in my digital painting in my like digital art journey I've I always loved doing the uh, the dramatic light sources even though I don't really exaggerate it that much but I do like doing backlit or like mostly backlit I guess or like lit from below or just just like cool co cool colored like interesting colors of light sources I guess I just I wanted to do like I know that fall just started and I've been doing a lot of like inktober stuff lately like every day I've been keeping up with inktober like for the first time I've never done inktober before I've tried but I just didn't commit to it and now I have a lot of free time so I decided you know I'm gonna use that free time and I'm gonna do Inktober and so far I really like it I love working with ink it's just so much fun and I, I've been trying ink washes I use one of those Pentel aquash aquash brushes and I put like a drop of some India ink in the back of it and it's just good for like it kind of instead of using a, a gray Copic marker I'll use like the gray ink wash just for this Inktober, just so I'm using purely ink. But I did, I know that Copic markers are ink, but I just thought, you know, it's coming from like black ink, like I'm using all black ink, but I diluted some of the black ink so then it looks gray. I also used red ink once too, but um, so the reason why I'm talking about October is because this is clearly a winter piece and I'm in like fall has just started and there's a lot of like um, there's a lot of like hype about fall right now and like the season all the leaves are changing so I drew something winter related <laughs> I also yeah because I have been doing a lot of like fall related stuff and I was like I'm gonna do something winter related because I don't know if I have before uh, I don't know I, I generally get pretty excited about winter and because just because it's Christmas and New Year's and I don't know just like I really like the reason why I like fall so much is because it comes before winter and Christmas because that's my favorite time of year.
but I really did enjoy this piece. I felt like it came really naturally to me, even though, you know, it's not perfect. I just, I wasn't fighting with it. It was working with me rather than against me, which is really nice when that happens when you're doing a digital painting or any artwork. It's good when it just all turns out the way that you wanted it to, and that doesn't happen very often, so yeah. And I haven't done a scene in a long time, so it was due, I was due to do another scene. It was about time. I do love doing scenes, and they're easier to do when you're doing it digitally. So here's the little details from it, and this is the final picture. And if you're interested, you can get... A print of this on my Redbubble store, um, same username, Gel Arts. Um, it's on the screen. There's other merchandise, so if you are interested, you can go to the description and see the link. But um, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and like the video, and thanks for watching.